hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we will solve the doubt that most people generally have when talking about beta decay which is whether the neutron is made up of proton and electron which looks to be obvious when we see the nuclear reaction of beta decay so first of all let's see the standard model of elementary particle from here we can clearly see that neutrons and protons are not really fundamental particles but electrons are so Neutrons and protons are made up of quarks which are fundamental in nature. Neutron is made up of one up quark and two down quark whereas a proton is made up of two up quark and one down quark. Looking here we can also see that down quark has a higher mass than up quark which is why neutrons are little bit heavier than proton. Now knowing this fact let's move further. Now consider a beta minus decay which is given by this nuclear reaction that is when a neutron is converted into a proton and an electron and anti-electron neutrino is released. So now we know that neutrons are made up of one up quark and two down quark whereas a proton is made up of two up quark and one down quark. This clearly implies that for a neutron to convert into a proton one down quark has to convert into an up quark so this implies that one down quark is getting converted into an up quark and an electron and an anti-electron neutrino is released but this is not an actual picture looking at this nuclear reaction which is an example of weak interaction that is weak forces are responsible for beta decay and w and z bosons are exchange particle of weak forces so Actually what's happening is when a down quark is converted into an up quark a W minus boson is decayed but this W minus boson which is an exchange particle of weak forces is very unstable and has a half life of 10 raised to minus 25 seconds so this W minus boson is further decayed into an electron and a anti electron neutrino pair as you can see from this Feynman diagram that when a neutron is converted into a proton that is when one down quark is converted into an up quark a W minus boson is produced which is then decayed into an electron and an anti electron neutrino pair similar thing happens in beta plus decay that is when a proton is converted into a neutron a W plus boson is produced which is then decayed into a positron and a electron neutrino pair so based on this the above theory explains how an electrons are originated from the nucleus in a beta decay even though electrons are not actually present inside the nucleus so guys hope you like today's video and please share it with your friends those who had the similar doubt in this topic and thank you for watching please like share and subscribe thank you for your time